this Minecraft Lego set. All right, so let me give you a little sourcing tip. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. I'm coming at you with 11 big money bolos, items I sold on eBay for big money. I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. Um, I've got some good ones here, and some of them sold really quick, and there's a really good story for one of them, so stay tuned for that. All right, let's get started here with the first item. And for those of you that were over on my reseller testing Bolo products when I was live, um, I was doing a live listing and I haven't done any of those lately, but I hope to start doing them again once garage sale season settles down. I've been really busy sourcing and renovating, not really renovating, but redoing my basement. I got a bunch of shelves and I'm putting stuff in totes and just organizing and it's it's taking a lot of work, but it's coming together and I'm super excited about that. Not sure if I'm going to show that off or not, but stay tuned. I might have a video in the future. All right. So the one thing that was really odd about this nativity is I couldn't find any comparables. And I know uh, Noelle Farm Girl Scavenger, she was trying to help me figure it out. And she found some things that were really similar, but nothing that was identical. They are marked Italy. They're a hard plastic. They're hollow. I don't know if I sold these too cheap. I don't know if I sold them high. I have no idea, but I priced them high because I couldn't find anything similar. So um, these came out of a thrift store mystery box and I love selling nativities. Um, I usually pick them up if I see them, whether they're plush or vintage. Some of the, I usually go for the vintage ones, but anyway, I ended up taking a best offer of $75 on this and the buyer was all in for $101. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think I could have gotten more if I would have waited towards Christmas or do you think I did good? Let me know in the comments. All right. The next item is this vintage Dooney and Bork crossbody purse, brown, all weather leather. And I think I said Dooney and Bork, right? I think I used to say Burke, but I think it's Bork. <laughs> I don't know. You guys will let me know. All right. So this is just a little purse. It's not very big. I've got my measurements there. I like to give all sides so that the buyer knows exactly what they're getting. I did decide to auction this. So these were at a garage sale. They were priced at $10 a piece. And I asked the person at the sale, I said, first I said, are they real? And I know that's probably like a strange question, but I feel like the owner is going to know if the item is real. Everything looked really good to me. I felt like they were legit vintage. Um, let me get the tag here for you. Um, every like all the stitching is really good. If you go over to Rachel Strickland's channel, her channel is her name. She has uh, Louis Vuitton and Coach, where she shows you how to recognize if something is real or fake. And I've picked up a lot of tips from watching those videos. They are fantastic. She really breaks it down to the point where she cuts the items open and up so that you guys can see that they are fake and why they're fake. But right here is the little tag. All the stitching on this is amazing. And I did ask the person selling it if they were indeed authentic. And she said, yes, they were hers. So, um, Two of them sitting there. I'm going to show you the other one here shortly. Uh, $10 each. I said, what would you do if I bought them both? And she said $5 each. So I got them for 10, both for 10. So my cost of goods was $5 for this. I wasn't really sure of the value. So um, I'm pretty happy that it sold for $69.99 on auction and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this Minecraft Lego set. All right, so let me give you a little sourcing tip. I don't go on Facebook Marketplace very much and dig around because I go down the rabbit hole and I am on there for just searching and searching and scrolling. But I saw um, some Legos and they were just um, loose Legos. Some of them had their uh, booklets. A couple of them had the boxes, I think, but they weren't 
complete in the boxes. You had to figure it out. Can't remember if they had the boxes or not. Maybe it was just the, they were SpongeBob. I think, I don't think they had the boxes. I think they just had the whatever. So I was interested in the SpongeBob and then there was a whole bunch of just miscellaneous, but the minifigures were there and everything. Long story short, I bought those and I said, do you have any other Legos? And she's like, well, I have this in my basement. And I said, what do you want for it? And she said, $35. I looked it up and I was like, oh my goodness. Yes, I'll take it. Um, do you have anything else? But anyway, I ended up getting a ton of Legos. It was a great super score. Um, I did have to wash some of the other Legos just because of storage and stuff like that. But this set right here, I took a best offer of $220 for this. It is a Lego Minecraft, The Witch Hunt. Um, 21133 is the, the number, the Lego number. Lego set number. That's what I want to say. It is retired from 2017. It is a harder to find rare item. And I was thrilled with this. I did pay up for it, but I paid up for it because I knew what they were selling for. So if you see these Lego sets and they are retired, look them up. And this one isn't super old. So, um, but always ask when you're buying something on Facebook Marketplace, if they have anything else that they want to sell. Um, a lot of times I'm going to pick up toys and I'll be like, do you have any other toys? And I score stuff all the time that way. A lot of times people are like, sure, let me go clean out my kid's stuff. All right. This is a vintage signed Kramer. I think it's, it's either Kramer or Cromer brooch. It's multicolor enamel, floral gold tone. It is beautiful. Um, I like to use this thing right here. I'm trying to think of what this tool is called. I can't think of it right now, but, um, I got it on eBay. It was like 10 bucks, super cheap. And it's fantastic for measuring brooches and putting that in your, um, as part of your description right there for people to see. I also like to put it in my hand. I feel like it contrasts, you know, the color is different than a white background and it just makes it pop a little bit. So I do, I do do photos in my hand. And this came from a thrift store. I paid 50 cents for it. And I ended up taking a best offer of $50 for that. And the buyer was all in for $55.10. The next item is the other Dooney and Bork all-weather leather crossbody. Again, it's just a small purse, just a little guy there. And super, super cute. Really well made. Definitely authentic. I did not see one stitch that was out of place. It had the metal zipper. Again, Rachel Strickland's got videos on how to know if something is real or fake. So check that out. I ended up selling this uh, best offer of $69 plus shipping. Again, paid $5 at a garage sale for that. I started this one out on auction. It did not sell. Um, so I put it on a buy it now. And I ended up, I think it sold higher than it would have on auction. All right. Are you guys ready for this fun story? All right. So I was at the Goodwill Benz. And you know how you can kind of sit your carts to the side and go up to the bin when they pull out a new one. So that is what I did. And somebody stole my cart, literally stole my cart. And I was so upset because I had this item and like one other thing or something in the cart. But this was the item that I was super concerned about. I'm like, oh my goodness, they have my bolo and I'm looking around, I'm checking all the carts. I could not find my cart. And one of the gals that I shop with at the bins, and she's like, Courtney, here's your tablecloth. And I was so excited. I ran over and they had just thrown it out of my cart. They didn't want the tablecloth, which they didn't know. They didn't know it was a bolo. They just wanted my cart. So somebody else was leaving. They gave me their cart, but I had my tablecloth and I kept an eye on my cart the rest of the day. Um, this tablecloth, $1.79 uh, a pound at the bins. And so I'm guessing I probably had about three bucks in this, but it is Fiesta. And you guys know the Fiesta plates. This is a Fiesta tablecloth. And Indoor Outdoor Fallen Petals is the brand or, or the, uh, the pattern. Couldn't find, I don't think that pattern. So I was kind of excited about it. I priced it high. I priced it at $100 and put it on sale at 30% off. And it ended up selling for $70 plus shipping. So super fun, exciting bolo. And I love that I have a little story to go with it. 
The next item is this vintage 1994 Vilroy and Bach Foxwood Tails salad plate. I don't remember where I got it and I don't know, remember where I paid for it. I will tell you where I got it <laughs> this time. I have a money pile that way and it was a money mountain and I'm currently in the process of putting everything in totes and stacking my totes of unlisted inventory, making it look real pretty and nice. Probably share that with you guys in the future. I don't know yet. But anyway, as I was going through the stuff and putting it into totes, I found four of these plates and I'm like, those are pretty cool. And I looked it up. And these are going anywhere from $30 to $50 a piece. I listed this and it sold within a day or two for $50 plus shipping. Uh, let me show you the back here. This is what it looks like. It's got the information right there. It is vintage from 1994. Um, I decided to sell them individually. I do have four of them. I don't know if I have a complete set or not, but individually is easier to ship. And I figure if somebody wants the other ones, they can put them in a bundle. So a uh, nice little bolo there sitting in my money pile. The next item is this Hallmark keepsake ornament, the nightmare before Christmas, Sandy Claus from 2007. This did not have the box. So this is the ornament only. And that is the measurement there. Super, super cool. These are definitely a bolo item. I got these out of a thrift store mystery box. I got like six or seven of them. And I think I have like two left. They have been selling like hotcakes. So if you find these, definitely comp them. Definitely pick them up if you can get them cheap. And you might want to pay up a little bit for them because 40, 50 bucks all day long, at least right now in this market. And... um. I don't know if they would have sold more around Christmas or not, but I am super happy with that. The next item is this tin type. It's a vintage tin type photo, women color added to cheeks, reading a book. This was also in that same money pile. You guys, I have so many great items. Um, I need to stop sourcing and list my money pile, but I just can't. I love to source. Now, if you look at this photo, you can see that their cheeks are a little bit pink. It's just tinted. And um, what I put in the title was color added to cheeks. This I started, I believe at $19.99 on auction. I honestly wasn't sure if it would even sell. And it ended up getting bids, six bids up to $42 plus shipping. I don't remember where I got it or what I paid for it. Again, just sitting in my money pile waiting on me to list it and a nice little bolo to share with you guys. All right, the next item is this Hallmark keepsake ornament from 2013, Adventure Time with Finn and Jack. Not Jack, Jake, Jake. Uh, Jake in, oh, in the box. It's in the original box. Oh my goodness. Um, this came out of the same mystery box as the nightmare before Christmas ornaments. So definitely a fantastic mystery box from the thrift store. And you guys have seen me go through those over on my sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel. There is so much trash and junk and stuff that gets donated. But every once in a while, I pull a little gem out just like this. And if you want to see some of those unboxings, you can check it out over on my sourcing with Bolo Buddies. It's my second channel. And this one just sold. It's a Veggie Tales Noah's Ark with the figures. This also came out of a thrift store mystery box. It was a toy box. Um, the ornaments came out of mystery Christmas boxes. And this right here is from Veggie Tales. Um, harder to find. They were not like mass produced. It is based on a, a Christian uh, book series. And this is the playset. Ended up selling this for $45.50. And right there, it's from uh, 2015. So it is retired. Big Idea Entertainment is who it is made by. Anything Veggie Tales I pick up. I have done very, very well with Veggie Tales. And again, I would have picked this up if I saw it. But when I pulled it out of that mystery box, I was like, yes. Now, I priced it kind of high. I was on the higher end of comps and I waited on the right buyer. So it did take a little while to sell. And this one went internationally. 
All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. There's gonna be some videos popping up here and here, a subscribe and another video down below. Check one of those out. And if you're new here, I'd love for you to subscribe. If you've been here a while, thank you. And leave me an emoji of a hat in the comments or just write hat if you don't have an emoji. Thanks for watching.